All right, well, welcome back to another video. This one is just a whirlwind of emotions because these past couple months have just been absolutely insane. I have been through so many different phases. I've been just posting movies on YouTube, and that's the road I've been going. But God is like, no, that's not the direction you're going to go because I have been trying to do that, and it's just not working out. It's not happening. The current video that I have been working on, I just can't replicate it, and it got corrupted on my external drive. The video before that, I had to shoot that twice because I thought my car got stolen and my camera equipment and all of that, so me and my friend went and replicated all those scenes and did it again. And then if I want to continue down this route, I have to do the same thing with this video. Everything on the computer got uh, corrupted. Nice. So if I want to continue down that clown route, which doesn't even feel good to me spiritually, it's been done so many times. Like these IRL video pranks, like everybody is doing them. And if I'm going to continue to do something like that, like I got to revolutionize that or just do something that's brand new. And clearly God doesn't want me to go down that direction. Like I have been through so many trials and tribulations each and every single time just to try to get one of those videos up. And they're late every single time. It's like a month and then it's like a month just for it to turn to dust in my hand, like pretty much every time. Or just to post it and get like two comments and if I'm gonna go in that direction like I literally have to do something that makes sense for me and there's been so many moments where I'm like I really just want to turn around I want to forget about all this stuff but there's something deep down no matter how crazy it's like no keep going keep going like I have been through so many different things like trial after trial after trial and then I'm like okay I've had enough I'm getting out of here I'm going back to my hometown and my fucking tire fell off my vehicle and I'm like okay that is a sign from God to keep pushing to keep going so I just want with these prank IRL videos and that's the direction I wanted to walk in that's what I thought it was gonna be but like I've just been pivoted and moved to where I can't even see myself going back to something like that and if I do it's got to make sense where I'm genuinely helping people or doing something that's beneficial like me just going around pissing off people get the fuck out of here I just like, if I blow up off something like that, like, that's not gonna be that great for me. But yeah, there's been so many pivotal moments on this journey where I should definitely go home. I should definitely pull out. It's just, you know, being around the wrong people, being around negative-ass people. I mean, we can all relate to this. You have a dream, you have a passion, you have something you want to do, but literally everybody in society, all they do is just kind of, like, talk shit. Like, that's kind of what society is. The more you level up, the more they want to suppress and kick you down continually and continually. And it really does piss you off. It's very heavy when you're coming at it like a spiritual approach when you're, you're just promoting God or you walk with God you notice like a lot of spiritual attacks or like spiritual warfare they call it. but yeah there's been so many crossroads and pivotal moments where it's like okay like do I just honestly give up and turn around like any sane person probably would or do I keep persevering to the next level like, there's been so many just like spiritual transitions just to keep going or just to literally back out whether it be situational or just how I feel inside and I just keep persevering I keep and pushing forward. That's why I have developed this connection with God because, you know, putting your trust in the unknown when everything is like falling apart and you're like, okay, do I keep going? When you keep going and you notice that, you know, things actually do work out time and time again, you start to build that connection with God. I thought when I was younger, I had problems, but this past year, I have been through way more things I have ever been in my entire life. Like it's just been test after test after test. And that's how God operates. If you pass one thing, your ass is going through the next and I've just turned into a huge follower of God because when you do follow your dream when you follow your vision what does that take it takes faith because you can't see it and the more you step in that direction the more you trust God I've been in so many moments where I'm like I should turn back and you're like okay I'm just gonna trust God you take that leap and somehow it works out and I've just continually been doing that trying to figure out what I feel inside I feel like there's something inside of me that God wants me to do at first I'm like okay I want to be the biggest entertainer in the world I want to make these crazy movies and that's the direction I went. That's what I wanted. And then I started praying, okay, God, what do you want from me? What do you want me to do? What's the vision? What's the purpose? Where do you want me to walk? I still want to make great videos. I don't want to just do sit down and talk videos, but I have to like revolutionize or completely make something new like Mr. Beast did. I want to just be pissing off people that are just doing these BS pranks and just following the crowd. So yeah, the path that I am walking right now is literally the complete contrary, the complete opposite of what I had in mind when I came down here. I was like, okay, I'm just going to 
gonna make videos, I'm gonna do huge movies, I'm just gonna copy the crowd and go in that direction, and God's like, no, I have a completely different plan, and I'm just kinda doing what feels right, and also my thing has always been, like, if I can still see the light, I'ma keep going, because I've wanted this since a kid, and like, now that I'm kind of in a place where I could fully attack this, it's like, I don't care what happens behind the scenes, like, if I can still see the light, like, if I'm still alive, if I can still see the light, if I can still move forward, if I still have my camera, I'm still gonna push forward, and that's kind of what it's been. And behind the scenes, I have been forged, and I have literally been put to the test, because I thought following God, it would be all fine, it would be dandy, you'd get blessings, like, you would, you know, live a very prosperous, great life, but it's quite the opposite, because if there's good, there's evil, and if you promote good, you're gonna get attacked by evil. There's, like, a crazy, like, spiritual warfare that I've noticed, you know, there's resistance in all of our lives, and even if you don't see it in, like, a spiritual sense, there's just resistance, you know, if you're trying to level up in this world, you'll notice that people always want to push you down. They always want to kick you down. They always want to suppress you. And it's kind of in that sense. When you push the good, the evil always, like, it's just a weird thing. Like some atomic energy that just is very undescribable. But that's just how the world operates. So that's one thing I noticed. And you know, it's just like the old saying, new levels, new devils. The more you advance your faith, the more you step boldly. As somebody who's trying to spread light, the more the opposition will rise as well. Whenever I went through something, it brought me closer to God. So now I'm closer to God. But being closer is hard. The attacks get strong, become much harder to fight, and they last longer. That's what it's always been. Joy with the pain, dark with the light, sun with the rain. But with the right perspective, it can be something to gain. Moving forward, being a clown on YouTube is something God just does not want me to be. But yeah, I really do like Mr. Beast. Like, I like what he's doing. Like, he's doing all these charitable things, but yeah, he's setting the tone. He's at the forefront. Yeah, honestly, I don't know what God has in store or what he wants me to do. Something inside of me is like, you can still make a video, keep going, keep pushing forward. And that's what it's been the whole time. Like, I've just advanced through so many different things. Crazy trust in God that things are going to be good, that things are going to be all right, that I have to keep chasing this vision. The pole is that immense. That I don't care what I go through. I just believe that it's there to mold me into the person that he wants me to become so I can influence the way that he wants me to influence. And that's how God operates. You know, if you serve God, if your ego is too extreme, he's going to humble you. And you may be thinking, well, he's going to bless me. He's going to give me all these things that are going to boost my ego and I'm going to be feeling sporadic and I'm going to be feeling good about myself and I'm going to be feeling on top of the world. But it's not true. He has these certain principles. <laughs> and if you don't have that, life could be very rough. I just know pushing forward. I just want to be pushing something that's good. Being of significance, not just popular. Behind the scenes, I'm going to go through whatever I have to go through. I may, you know, like little baby's head, pop my head down for a little bit, but I'm going to come through. But yeah, the thing that kind of pulled me towards the Bible in my life is just I noticed that I would like attach myself to these quotes that would significantly make me feel better about myself or like spiritually would help me. That's kind of where it started. And also taking this huge step of faith where I can't see the next step. Like obviously that builds the connection and just knowing that everything in that book is there to build you up and to make you feel better. And that's what I've noticed. It's just been like scripture after scripture and actually applying it in my life and noticing that I do feel stronger, that I do feel more independent, that I feel like not a sheep, that I feel like more inclined to tap into my purpose. Like I just feel more whole and I feel like myself and I feel stronger to go against what I have to go against. Because a lot of us have these things, these seeds inside of us of who we want to be, but a lot of people around us, they try to take that out of us or they try to drown that or say you can't do that and when you rise up in that and when you start to show that's who you are try to suppress it they try to attack it they don't want you to level up you know people only care when you're at their level but the moment you exceed them they turn jealous or they turn envious like there's a lot of issues with this world and if you're not spiritually right or spiritually strong or you don't have that backbone of strength you know you can be taken out very easily in this world and just be another depressed anxious teen and i've noticed in my life the bible has made me take on Goliath and just overcome things that should not be overcome is because the righteous it says that they fall down seven times but rise up eight and they're wicked they fall down and they stay down which is true but yeah as of moving forward I have no idea because this is all so new to me and I did not see myself going in this direction so I don't know how I'm gonna like pivot or move because it's foreign it literally is foreign and yeah I'm just gonna you know pray about it and really just ask God what do you want me to do with this platform moving forward I still would like to do those style of videos those movies those bangers it's gotta be right. It's gotta be fitting. It's gotta feel right. See you guys in the next one. Peace.